Hey folks, Technivorous here, and this is the Rocket League Batmobile. Now this thing is one of my favorite cars in the game, but I didn't bring you here to talk just about Rocket League. Today I'm going to show you how I use Curie Engine to 3D print this bad boy. So let's take a little look around the car real quickly before I show you how we took it from the game to the printer. And I'll explain a little bit more about Kiri Engine, what it is, and what it does. Kiri Engine is an app for your phone that can scan everyday 3D objects and turn them into printable objects. There's a favorite section where you can check out some of their favorites and even download and print, say, this Bardock here. Now, before I download it, I might want to take a look, and using the Kiri app, I can pan around and zoom. Let's talk some more about this bad boy. So uh, I'm really, really anxious to get to printing this. There are a lot of fine details in the back, so I know I'm going to have to go in and add a few of those back in in ZBrush. For those of you who don't know, I have done this before when I printed my Master Chief character right out of a Halo replay. Hey, Poncho, get out of the shot, Poncho. Jeez. Now, as I was saying... For those of you who don't know, I have done this before, and it basically involves finding a nice replay and basically circling around the car at a couple of different heights, something like you see here. And now keep in mind, this is done really fast just to kind of demonstrate what I was doing. I'll show you this process a little bit more in depth a little bit later in the video. But basically, you're going to want to get every angle that you can of this vehicle to get the complete profile in order for this software to work its magic. And when that is complete, you will end up with something like this. Master Chief, man, people just keep bombing this video. Master Chief, get out of here. Okay, so there is a little bit more work involved. This is the actual file that I got back from Kiri Engine, and in most cases, they require minor cleanup. Now, this is a sculpting program called ZBrush, and I'm gonna use it to fine tune some of these details and add back in some of the things that might have been lost in the scan. Now, since this is so detailed in the back end, I am expecting to rebuild some of that by hand, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when I'm done with it. On the screen here, you can see the finished product and basically what we're printing out. So this is the model that you saw on my bed, and this is our Batmobile. This was scanned right out of Rocket League using Kiri Engine, and yeah, I mean, it did take a little bit of time, but the basic body shape was there, and as I said in the Halo video, this saved me a lot of sculpting time. So let's take a look at it on the printer. You can see that everything was going down pretty fantastically. This is a carbon fiber filled PETG filament, so it has an interesting look to it, but I thought the carbon fiber would look great on this car. So some of these pictures are uh, really, really close, and you can see a little bit of flaws in the support, and that is just the support the model came out fantastic as you can see here. There are a couple of spots that I'm not too happy with. I think I should put a little more support under the hood there and then maybe another top skin layer on top here. You can see a little bit of bubbling there near the roof but other than that a very very fine model and a couple of slicer setting adjustments and it would be darn near flawless. Yeah, look at that engine, all that detail in there. Um, that part did take a little bit of time, but it was well worth the effort, and I'm very, very pleased with the help that I was provided by Kiri Scanner. So what else can you do? Well, what if I wanted to scan this candlestick? Well, you can't really scan clear objects, but I'm going to show you a way around that in a second. First, let's get that candle out of here. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then, yeah, we'll probably have to prep this object. So what I did was use blue masking tape or regular painter's tape to completely cover the object. Now I chose painter's tape because it's really really thin. On the left here you can see a scan of the object that I got out of Kiri Scanner. This is the video, the video you would see on your phone here um, and, and we'll take a little bit better look at that in just a minute. Basically I covered the entire object and then I did that process I told you about where you go around it from different angles and you take pictures. So there's one, there's two, you want to do this all the way around about every 15 degrees from a couple different heights preferably. Uh, you can get up to 70 pictures, usually 30 to 35 will get you a decent scan, but the more pictures, the more it has to work with and the more accurate your scan is going to be. Now, I should mention that between now and the time I did the Master Chief video, 
this algorithm for the scanner has been updated, so the scans are coming out a lot cleaner now. You can still see some of the background residuals in this scan, but that's because I had them in the picture and I wasn't completely focused on the candlestick. So once I want to get my candlestick to download so I can make my replica copy, I'm going to go to the link provided and I'm basically just going to download the file. And once I have it, you can open the folder here, which you might want to decompress and you'll see that there are a couple of different files in there. One of those is the texture file and then there are a couple of different types of uh, OBJ's different size files. We are going to take one of those and we will open it up in ZBrush. Once we have that file open in ZBrush, one of the first things we're going to do is cut away the bottom. And I'm going to speed this process up and just kind of show you what some of the sculpting tools can do. So when I deleted the bottom, I created an, a blank spot there, a gap in the mesh. So I added a little blocker back in there just to make it a little bit easier to print. There are several ways to repair that. I'm just showing you a quick and dirty sculpt on this to get it to kind of look like its counterpart. And once we get it where we're satisfied, I'm using pinches and creases and other different brushes here to kind of dial in the details. And once it's where I want it, I'm basically going to take it over to my slicer and slice it up. Before I do that though, I did want to say one of the easiest ways to do this was to add in an extra subtool. Now this little guy is going to represent my candle and I'm doing it separately without creating the hole because I want to export them both and then use this piece to resize and be able to basically manipulate the size of the hole. So if I get the candlestick to mat to the matching height and the hole isn't perfect, um, this is the easiest way to deal with that. So you can see here that I have it sliced and I have inserted that piece into there but I'm having some issues with my interactions. So um, I did use a couple of different modifiers when printing this just to get that top layer skin out of there. But those are all simple Kira tricks that you can learn about on my channel. If you're interested in learning how to use the slicer to combine different things and put holes in objects, check out my Kira questions playlist because there's a ton of great information in there. Basically it involves using the subtool as a modifier mesh and then selecting some particular settings. So you'll see me doing that now and kind of making everything ready. And then we will get ready to pop this guy onto the printer and you can see how my replica candlestick has come out. As we wrap it up here, I'll show you one more time that I got that hole worked out. And here is our original and here is our replica. So not perfectly exact, but pretty dang close. So don't forget the candle and that's what Kiri Engine can do for you. Definitely check out this scanning app, guys. I'm going to be using it a lot more. And leave a like down below.